welcome back to my cosy corner of the internet. I'm Maya Star, and this is the Maya Star Podcast. I teach energy healing courses online through Maya Star Academy, share spiritual guidance and mystical musings on the Maya Muses blog, and provide healing, ritual, and spell casting services as a star-seeded shaman and professional witch. On the Maya Star podcast, I release articles, discussions, and energy updates every week, covering energy healing, spiritual awakening, lightworkers, starseeds, magic, and new age spirituality. This episode is being re-released with upgraded audio a new cover art to coincide with the launch of the new Maya Star podcast YouTube channel. Please check it out and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the new content coming soon. And welcome back to my cosy corner of the internet. I'm Maya Star, and this is another unscripted video um, that should be going out at the beginning of June to coincide with the new special offer for Archangel Michael's Sapphire Flame. The attunement course will be going on special offer the same day that this video goes live so if you're not already subscribed to the newsletter visit myastar.net and join the mailing list so that you'll be notified of new special offers but this video we're also going to be talking about bits and pieces general updates and answering a few questions mostly related to energy healing but not all related to energy healing and um, we'll just see how it goes we're playing it by ear we're just going to wing it and so far I'm really pleased that other people are enjoying these videos because I, I was a bit nervous about posting these after the articles doing the articles each week It's fun, but it's a lot more work because I have to format the script and the articles go onto the Maya Star website, so I have to set up a new web page for that. There's a little bit of messing about to set that up. So, you know, although it's the, the videos end up shorter, they actually require a lot more work than just sitting down catching up having a chat and uh, so that's what we're going to be doing for the foreseeable and I'm glad you're enjoying them because as I say I was a little bit nervous I was a little bit nervous let's go into the notes and see what we're covering one thing I wanted to talk about was the meditation track that I've created to accompany Archangel Michael's Sapphire Flame um, includes light language codes which are to amplify the effect of this energy if you're attuned to it, if you're already attuned or you're going to take the special offer course the meditation track can be used during your attunement as well as when you're working with this energy to enhance your experience and amplify those frequencies and the intention with this is that in future if you regularly work with the meditation when you're working with that energy that in future you would be able to just listen to the meditation on t- at times when you didn't want to use the technique as it's described in the manual so it would just open up more opportunities for bringing energy healing practice into your day-to-day life and if you look back over the channel and the podcast you'll find meditations for other courses 
um, and they are used in the exact same way but obviously relating to different energies but the, one of the things I wanted to mention about the sapphire flame is the sense that you get from that particular energy now flame the idea of a flame sort of gives you an idea of heat I don't often experience heat when working with um, Archangel Michael's sapphire flame but I do experience a kind of fizziness which is almost like lightning a sort of static charge kind of feeling and I wanted to put that into the track and I really wasn't sure how and then there was a thunderstorm and I managed to get a really good sample during that thunderstorm just uh, you know only about a week ago so it's divine timing and uh, I and I messed about with it and I took the fizziest part of it and uh, that's incorporated into the whole rhythm of the track so um, I'm hopeful that you're going to pick up on that fizziness when you're um, working with the meditation and see if you can identify it as the beginning of an enormous crack of thunder and it's it's the perfect type because you know you sometimes get the rumbling thunder but you sometimes get the the other kinds that sound more like a static charge it makes a fizzing sound and that was the exact sort of thunderclap that I caught and I was impressed by it and I hope you're going to be I hope you'll enjoy that one by the way I wanted to explain where that came from where the strange sound that runs throughout the track came from because like when I was listening to it back I was thinking oh I think people might think that that sound is some sort of water noise like it's got that it sounds a little bit like a watery sound but then I had to mess about with it a bit more to make it a little bit busier so that it would really echo the vibe of that energy now I hope you're going to pick it up and I hope you'll enjoy it and there, there's the version with the light codes so that one that one goes out as the meditation with light language mantra and there are three ambient versions of this track so there's going to be one track that's got no light codes on it and no addi- no additions so it just has the music so that's the ambient version and then there's the ambient version with the gentle rain mix with some light rain that creates a sort of white noise over the top which is uh, some people find it very relaxing and some people find those sort of white noise additions a little bit irritating so experiment with them to find out and if you don't if you're not keen on the gentle rain mix there's also the ocean waves mix which tends to be the favorite people tend to like the ocean waves mixes best so i've included an ocean waves mix although i actually felt that on this one the gentle rain mix added to it more because of that thunder the rain and the thunder worked well together who would have thought that could happen but yeah that's what happened so try them all out and see which one you like best at the time I'm recording this I'm about to upload them for distribution Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to at least one of these tracks will have a a release date that's quite far ahead but most of them will be available um, on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube wherever you stream your music you can find them there and I recommend that you do that as well as watching the videos and listening to the podcast because I've found that on music apps the sound quality is better so um, yeah look out for that and also 
within the next couple of days I will start putting this track out on live streams so um, yeah the live streams tend to um, foreshadow whatever's coming up so if you watch those you'll have some clue about what's coming up over the next couple of weeks um, and I start streaming each afternoon and let it run overnight and then in the morning YouTube converts it into a 12 hour video so all of those are available on the lives tab on the main channel on YouTube if, if you want to get a 12 hour light looped live stream and the purpose of those is just so that you've got a long version that can be used overnight or when you're doing when you're working during the day taking a nap doing some yoga or anything where you think you might be taking more than an hour because I make all of the ambient tracks and meditations an hour and then loop them to create the 12 hour versions okay let me see what am I up to here I think that's that's it really for the, the main updates um, but I did want to talk about a, a few things relating to the Sapphire Flame course and I didn't have any specific questions that related to it um, so I've got sort of general questions here that vaguely relate to this area of uh, energy work there are two here that relate to energetic protection and are pertinent to Archangel Michael's Sapphire Flame. The first of these questions is What energy healing course can eliminate attachments? Now, energetic attachments are created wherever you place your attention it's like an extension of your consciousness and it creates it means you're putting energy out towards something and it it could be a person it could be an object it could be an idea it could be a place it could be anything and you're and by giving it any attention you're sending energy towards it um, now all things possess energy of their own even the things that we consider inanimate and as we extend our energy towards them if we're receptive and we're not placing judgments and limiting our perceptions by reinforcing our own beliefs if we're receptive to the consciousness of the world around us that energy flow goes both ways and so you'll be sharing energy with everything that you connect with or everything that you pay attention to you may not even be aware that you've connected with it but wherever you place your attention attention is reciprocated on a very subtle level and there's an exchange of energy that goes on continuously so these are energetic attachments and most of them are positive we only want to get rid of the negative kind and the negative kind are the ones where we're reinforcing a connection that depletes our energy or where the energy transaction goes only one way so over time it just becomes increasingly imbalanced and siphons energy away from you and eventually that becomes very noticeable and you'll feel quite disconnected from the world like if you think about it when your energy is depleted you're not able to create the healthy kinds of attachments the kinds that are nourishing for your energy field you're, when your energy is lacking or there's just not enough flowing through the system you're sort of cut off and you might feel that emotionally more than energetically or you might just feel 
a little bit off. It might be something really vague. You can't quite place it, but you don't quite feel right. So that's why it's important to deal with any sort of negative attachments. And I find that's especially important if you want to practice energy healing because the more you work with other people, the more you're creating energetic bonds with people who may or may not be healthy. And if another person, if you're, when somebody comes to you for energy healing, they're experiencing their unhealed nature and seeking to resolve it and what you really don't want to do is invite them for a healing session and then take on their ailments and their restrictions and any negativity so that's why it's very important because the more you practice energy healing the more you become aware of how those attachments form. And this is just a a case of practicing energetic hygiene. And I recently wrote an article about that, which you'll be able to find on this channel if you want to learn more, because it is a very important part of your healing practice to make sure your energy field is lean and clear of attachments and residual energy that actually belongs to other people and another question that oh no hang on I didn't finish that one so which energy healing causes can eliminate attachments well since we're talking about Archangel Michael Sapphire Flame you may have guessed Yes, Archangel Michael's Sapphire Flame is a great system for clearing negative attachments. But there is also negative entities clearing Reiki, Dark Moon Mother Protection, Goddess Diana's Mirror Shield Activation and the Light Sanctuary Activation. These are all good ways of um, protecting your energy field the Violet Flame Attunement and St. Germain's Auric Transmutation Flush. These are all systems that are very good for clearing the energy field, creating a healthy environment for yourself to expand into and uh, protecting your home as well. I mean, it's not just your energy field. Your, Your home is a container for your energy field. So That's why it's very important to address all of those areas. When you're you're working on maintaining your energy, consider the energetic environment as well and do what you can to keep that balanced and healthy. Okay, the next question is, are negative attachments passed on in family lineages? And the answer to that is they can be, but that's actually very rare. Usually what's passed on um, in a fa- within a family are habits and behaviours um, that stem from particular energetic imprints. So this is just patterns within your energy field that are communicated through exposure it's not passed on by birth it's passed on by contact with that energy you start to mirror it in a way and that leads to a similar kind of vulnerability so if a person had a particular way of living that created an energetic vulnerability that meant they picked up negative attachments from time to time and you repeat that sort of pattern that creates the same vulnerability, then you're going to be more prone to picking up attachments. But obviously, for both people, that can be changed, um, even if it's even if it is apparently passed on, and you start to think, oh, it's just the family curse. Nothing that can be done about that. 
there's always something that can be done about it you can change it you can you can decide you're not going to do it you're going to do things differently and yeah working with energy healing techniques can be a powerful way to help you do that but also there's the killing moon karmic reversal 30 day ritual intensive that I complete for clients every month starting at the dark moon and that's a magical intensive with a a daily ritual that clears negative attachments resolves and dissolves negative karmic bonds Um, so there's always something that can be done I provide services for that which you, you might otherwise call family curses, ancestral curses, um, whereas m- most of the time I think of them as vulnerabilities that are passed on more by nurture than nature. So don't think that yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. There's always something you can do about it. And the final two questions are a little bit off topic. But I thought I'd address these ones just to pad out the video a bit since I didn't have any specifically about Archangel Michael Sapphire Flame. So I had to choose questions that were related. Um, So these off topic questions are, can I buy tarot readings or healing sessions from you? I don't offer personal tarot readings at the moment. I did for a while. But because they're so time consuming, I just, I can't fit them in at the moment. So at the moment, no, you can't buy tarot readings from me. But every single day I provide a daily card and spiritual guidance, inspiration and an affirmation for you to use on that reading and those go up on the Maya Star Facebook page, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, it it goes everywhere, Twitter, it goes on Twitter and um, on the community tab as well on YouTube so you can find my readings everywhere and you can get a daily fix of my completely radical, upbeat, inspirational, getting all the good vibes to you, reading every single day by following one of those pages. With the energy healing sessions, yes, I do provide healing sessions and at the moment that's in the form of the well, there are, there are different options. There's 7, 14 and 21 day chakra healing intensives. The, the, fir- the 7 day one is for healing. The subsequent cycles are for people who want to progress their spiritual path more than just receiving healing. But the 7 day um, chakra healing intensive can be focused just on healing so that's pos- uh, that one's useful for anybody and yes you can buy it and I've actually put a link on the Maya Star homepage mayastar.net for if you want to buy energy healing sessions um, that will take you to that link and what I would add though is if you wanted to work with a specific energy if you wanted for example, Kundalini Reiki, Usui Reiki, Crystal Rose, Violet Flame, Auric Transmutation. If there's any particular system that you would like me to send healing with during that seven day intensive, then let me know because any of the courses that I teach I can send you energy healing using those modalities but they would always be in the seven day intensive structure so it's like because these are healing rituals that I perform in the temple 
So there's kind of a routine to the way I organize those. And sending sending healing over a seven day intensive allows me to get a better, better energetic connection, um, more powerful and l- the results will last longer if it's repeated over a number of days to eliminate unconscious resistance and so yeah that's the structure that I work with seven day energy healing intensives and you can buy them through the website and the final question is quite a funny one are you ready are you wearing a wig no I'm not wearing a wig but thanks because I guess it means my hair looks fantastic couldn't possibly be real but no It's my real hair. It's not the real colour, because I henna my hair, but it it is my real natural hair. And it comes right down to my hips. It's very long, yeah. But it's not a wig. So, sorry to disappoint you. But no, you can't buy this hair somewhere else and stick it on your head. You've got to commit to growing it, hennaing it, treating it with good conditioner and I don't do any of that stuff I just henna it and I, I think the, the henna actually conditions your hair it so that's a bit pretty much all I have to do wash it henna it leave it brush it every few days no I probably brush it every other day because otherwise it can get quite tangled and apart from when I'm making these videos most of the time I keep it in braids so yeah it doesn't even get in my way but it's not a wig (laughs) and I think that's brought us to the end of our video I think that's everything I needed to cover and so we're going to wrap this up for this week and I hope you're going to come back next week for some more mystical meanderings and if you've got any questions that you or any subjects you'd like to see addressed in one of these unscripted videos, let me know in the comments section or email me through my website with your questions and I will get to them in future videos. And I wish you a wonderful week. I hope you come back here next week for some more. And in the meantime... I wish you peace, prosperity and progress in all you do. With blessings.